Amongst the buzz of DeepSeek releasing R1, their reasoning model beating closed source models from OpenAI, Google, and Anthropic, DeepSeek released another groundbreaking model today for their Janus series. Janus provides unified multimodal understanding and allows image generation. And on the benchmarks, it beats Dolly E3, SDXL, and PixArt. So let's take a look at how to access Janus for free and how you can test it today. Janus was released right after DeepSeek released R1, and this model is very powerful in its multimodal understanding. Not only can it generate images, it also has great vision understanding. You can test Janus Pro in two ways. One is locally by downloading the open source model and running it via Olama or LM Studio. But from my testings, this is slow due to the size of the model. So I recommend you try it out via Hugging Face, which I'll link in the comments below. In Hugging Face, you can test the multimodal understanding and the text to image generation. So let's first take a look at the multimodal understanding. So here we're asking it to explain the classic meme. Let's see how well it does. You do have to wait for a GPU to become available and it will take slightly longer due to running on Hugging Face. Um, but let's also test this via GPT-4 and their DALL-E model and see how it performs. And as we can see, it did a pretty good job um, understanding the general logic of the meme. Um, the left side it talks about buff dodge and how it talks about a robust understanding of visual encoding, while the right side it says it's you know, a less powerful visual encoding model. Before we test out DALL-E3, let's also take a look at its generation model. So they do give us some example prompts. So let's generate a astronaut in a jungle um, using a color palette and we'll have muted colors, detailed, and 8K. I don't know if it'll actually generate an 8K, but I think that's just to indicate to be fully realistic. Okay, so it generated two images, actually five images, and this is actually interesting. All the images are kind of similar with slight variations, and in general, I do think it is very high quality. In general, these images very well adhere to the prompt. So let's test how well GPT-4 does in its multimodal understanding of this meme. Uh, and we'll give this prompt, you know, explain this meme. Both do a really good job. Uh, I slightly prefer ChatGPT's responses due to more explanation in the AI ML side, but they both understand the meme. And let's also test ChatGPT's image generation model using their DALL-E model. I'm going to provide it the same prompt. Okay, nice. So this does look pretty good uh, comparatively. And personally, I think both of these do a good job, but ChatGPT's is more realistic. I'll have the Hugging Face and Git repo link in the description below. If you're interested in me making a video about how to run DeepSeek R1 locally, let me know in the comments below.